Hey, what's going on, roommate? This is your girl, Teresa. And it's your girl, Lauren. And you are not stepping into the shade room. And sitting here with us is a man who needs no introduction, Mr. Kevin Gates. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So what's going on? What's going on? Nothing really. I'm on tour right now. Tour. And I heard this is your second This is your second stop, right? Yes, man. In I Atlanta. did Jacksonville. I did Jacksonville yesterday. Yeah, but now I'm too okay, crazy. okay. Well, we couldn't be first. I guess we got to settle for number two then. Right, right, right. Well, I know one thing for sure. I ain't gonna lie. As it, I don't feel like that. I, I look at it like a journey. Like as it evolves. Like I never go out it, like with it predetermined what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I never know. Like I, each city that you go to, they have their own distinguishing characteristic, their okay. own character quality. So I feel the energy of the crowd of my audience, my following, my extended family, I like to say, okay, the okay. people that love me, mm -hmm. and I, I just feed off their energy. I never know how I'm going to start off the show. Like, Okay, well, I we can't, I can't wait to see it tonight at the Tabernacle, right? I don't know exactly. <laughs> we don't have to, we, we need you to get to I don't know right? exactly, but you just show no, up. no disrespect, I have an amazing team around me. Mm -hmm. I have somebody named David, and all I have to do is just be the talent. And then I have my boss lady, okay. she, Drica, and, you know, I don't need to do nothing but just work. I got Drica. I give her all the money. She makes sure. That's how it's supposed yeah. to be. All right, man. Well, um, I just want to start off with a quick question for you. I, um, I saw your recent interview with Sway. Shout out to Sway. And um, you talked a little bit about your insecurities and um, just how you, your, how you overall felt throughout your, um, I guess, musical journey or your hip-hop journey. How does one achieve success with those type of insecurities within himself? I put my, I put, I still get, like, it's crazy because as an individual, you're your worst critic. Mm -hmm. So people could tell you, Kevin, you're so handsome, you're so beautiful. But in the mirror, when you the individual that come up not really having a lot, and people tease you, you was, you're ridiculed for not being with the popular crowd, yeah. You still look at yourself in that light like, whatever, you know, I ain't shit. And if you, look, not to get off, veer off the path, but I could say this, and no disrespect to anybody that I've ever been in a relationship with, but I always dealt with individuals that I knew weren't good for me because I felt like I wasn't good enough to have somebody that was decent, so to say. Not to veer off the path. So I put everything on Front Street, everything. And I guess I'm not saying that's how I win, but that's how it helps me. Like, okay, I already talked about myself, so you can't say nothing about me. Kind of how Eminem did in 8 Mile. Right. I already talked about myself, so you can't say nothing. Well, since we're putting everything on Front Street, I got I to gotta bring up your relationship. I know you don't like to talk about you know, your personal life too much. But um, it's a movie. I know you talked about being. <laughs> <laughs> I know you talked about being um commitment shy, and yeah, um, but we like, recently saw I you got married. I would sabotage my relationships. Like I would do something to make yeah. the relationship not work. Well, what so was I different did, about this this female that you're married to? Because we weren't. In a relationship, she told me I'd never be with anybody like you. She's going this steady. and this and that, mm -hmm. and like most people be like, oh, she like people that's thugged out, and it wasn't that. She completed the opposite. She's the total opposite. She likes and she fell in love. She was attracted to my intelligence. That's what. I can't remember. You're incredibly like when we sit in the library and we would have conversations because that's a quiet place. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm a coffee connoisseur, I've always been. And I think that's where we had one of our first, like, real conversations was in the library. She was studying, and I helped her with what she was, like, I was the, I, I guess, academically I excelled in school. Okay. But I, my absentees were way up here. So I repeated a lot of the same grades over and over. I think the last grade I completed was, like, the eighth. I, just did the ninth over and over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And not because I didn't excel academically, because I didn't, I missed a lot of school. Yeah. So, but I helped her, you know, when she was studying for a big test or something like that. And we had a real conversation and she was just like, wow, I didn't know you were this intelligent. Can you walk us through um, the wedding a little bit? Like, did you cry? Were you, what type no, of I didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't cry then, but I have moments that, 
I could be sitting down and I'd be laying in the bed with this woman and I'd cry like, because I would have never went to college if it weren't for this woman. I would have never been able to travel and see the world had it not been for this woman. So this woman, made, because I had it made up in my mind, I knew what I was gonna do. Sell dope, go to jail and die. That was the, that was my lifestyle. And I said, and I remember saying it, like, man, a lot come with wearing the crown. Yeah, I know, but I don't care if I get to wear it for one day. I want to wear it. And I had that in my heart. I had that in my mentality. That was my mentality, you know. And it is sad, but a lot of individuals, that's their mentality. I'm going to sell dope, I'm going to get rich, or I'm going to die trying. So either I'm going to go to jail or I'm going to die. That was the mentality because there's no outlets in, that, in Louisiana. There's no outlets there. There's no media outlets. No, there's no radio. There's no radio outlets. <laughs> that's that's kind of why I involved myself with. I hate to say his name, but I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble. But the Achievement Academy, Lamont Cole, that's mm -hmm. like my big brother. He'll let me come speak to young people. So I involved myself with his Achievement Academy. And like, as soon as we get enough time again, that's like, that's priority. Cause I wish somebody would have came and told me that when I was in school, like you could do whatever you want to do, whatever. I wish somebody would have told me that. Yeah. I was trying to be like my uncle, so. my grandfather, things of that nature. I wanted to be a gangster. So do you still want to be that gangster? Cause I actually seen in one of your other interviews that you said you enjoy being a gangster. Enjoy. You love, you love that shit. <laughs> Ooh. You love that shit. To the, to the gristle. I love to show off the street. <laughs> I love just being able to go places, mm -hmm. just me and her. Yeah. And she don't have the fear of something happening okay. to us. She has the fear of something happening to someone else and putting us in a financial or legal situation. Mm -hmm. That's her fear. And, I'm, and she was like, Kevin, you know, I know this may sound crazy, but that's a great fear to have. I feel safe when I'm with you. I know Thanks. I know I'm safe when I'm with you. That's all a woman wants. You know. Some security. But nah, uh, when you say one woman, I got married under God. I got married under God. He that finds a wife finds a good thing mm -hmm. and obtains Amen. favor of the Lord. I, I I didn't get married to her. I can't get in trouble with her. Yeah. Like they had a female said this, I wanted to go look at a dog. And one of my old friends, and we we both like we into the toy bulldog line. That's my line. I love toy bulldogs. So I went to go look at a dog, and I gave her a hug, you know, a kiss on the left cheek, kiss on the right cheek. I, you know, I love you. You my you like my sister. And she was like, I don't want to get no makeup on you. I don't want to get you in trouble. You, I can't get in trouble with my woman. I can only get in trouble with God. Well, I hear you talk about God a lot, but on the flip side, you know, you seem I'm to be no I'm, I'm not no religion. No. Right. But you also, I see what you wear, and it looks like, you know, like some type of spiritual attire. Like, is that just kind of like a fashion statement? No. Or no, it's not at all. Is? But like I say, a lot come with this. Great, mm -hmm. Like I say, great wisdom and great knowledge, great responsibility comes with that knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I don't cast my pearls to the swine. So if I know most individuals wouldn't get it, I'm not going to speak on it, but I'm very spiritual. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about I'm very spiritual. Okay. Very. I'm no religion, though, but I'm very spiritual. Well, define, the difference. Okay. Yeah. define the difference. Religion is something that you do out of habit. Okay. I could religiously go to prison. I could religiously cheat on my wife. I could religiously drink coffee, religiously. Those thing are things that you do out of habit. Now, when we talk about spiritual devotions, those are totally different. Those are totally different. So, it took you, how long have you and your wife been together, Drinker, right? Like 14 years. 14 years. So, after 14 years, what made you just decide to be like, you know what, this is it? No, I, I no, no, no. I ain't no after no 14 years. I always wanted a family. Mm -hmm. Like, my mother gave me to my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Not because she was a bad mother, but she had me at a young age. So she just and having somebody it. like me for a child could be overwhelming for any single parent yeah. at the time. Because I'm, I'm a very active. I'm a very active. I've woman. always been a very active individual. So <laughs> right, to say. right. But but like I say, that was a blessing in itself. Mm -hmm. But I used to always wonder, how come the other kids at school 
go and live with their mothers and fathers and and I stay with my grandparents. Mm -hmm. I used to always ask my grandmother that like, I call her my mama. Yeah. I used to be like, mama, how come all of them always see their parents and, and and why, you know, I told her, I remember asking my mother, I want to be a family mm -hmm. with you. You know, she was like, I thought you was happy with, with D. Yeah. That's her, that's her nickname, she just passed. But, you know, no disrespect, my grandfather taught me how to stand on principle. You know, how to really stand on principle when you Stand for something, no matter what the world may think of it, you got to live and die by what mm -hmm. you stand for. I totally agree. Like right now, like no disrespect, it's like two things that I could never involve myself in. And what are those two things? Being a rat and homosexuality. No disrespect to those that engage in that because we're commanded to love mm -hmm. everybody, no matter what their preference may be. Mm -hmm. But those are two things that I can't engage in. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to die. I got to stand on principle. Yeah, well, the Michael principles that you're standing on um, clear, are clear to me that you're in a monogamous relationship and that's what you're sticking with. It now. ain't that I'm I'm not promoting monogamy. Well, do you but I'm just open relationships? I'm not promoting monogamy or being an open relationship. Like I said, I wanted a family. Mm -hmm. I, the entertainment realm would tell you, go be a player and have a hundred girlfriends, but I watched my father die from AIDS. And he'd tell you, man, I had more holes than clothes. <laughs> and how is that? And he you? and he sold dope. You know, he had all the nice yeah. cars and all the, the things that the rappers, you know, the, the rappers really try to be drug dealers. They mm -hmm. emulate drug dealers. That's all they do, really. Mm -hmm. And they'll be with the booted models and things of this nature, you heard me. And you with a, a woman, you not even imputing knowledge and wisdom into this mm -hmm. woman, man. This woman would love herself if you was to love her in a proper manner. You know what I'm saying? And then this woman would teach you things and y'all would help each other grow. So I'm not in the entertainment realm when you ask that question. That's not my perception of, I wanted a family. I have two beautiful children and a wife. I don't go to clubs unless you paying me to be in there. Cause mm -hmm. I can be wrestling, play fighting with they big fine ass mama or play <laughs> fighting with my little boy and my little girl. That is my party when I'm at the house. I could drink whatever I want to at the house, smoke how I want to in the privacy of my own home. Mm -hmm. I would prefer that. And then a lot of the ways that I raise my children, people have a problem with, like, he crying for his bottle. I go put the bottle on the other end of the, of the living room and let him crawl to it. Because ain't nothing going to come to you because you crying. You got to work for what you want. And he grew, And he's stronger than a lot of the other kids because he grew up crawling to his bottle when he wanted it. People say that's wrong, but that's how my grandfather raised me. So... With growing in the situations or, you know, growing up in the situations and surroundings you grew up in, would you say that those, you know, situations in your childhood made you that better person? Because, you know, sometimes people go through things and honest, it, 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 them, honest, it affects them. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I just let go. I just started the healing process of letting go of the past because I hold grudges for life. Mm -hmm. I'm the type of person that if I like you, I like you. If I don't like you, I don't mind you knowing that I don't oh, like you. So if I see you in public, please don't embarrass yourself and try speaking to me. Because I'm going to look at you like you got shit on your shirt. That's just how I'm going to look. And would you say... Because I'm loyal. Uh -huh. if, if we family, we family. If we family, I don't care that I'm a multi-millionaire. If we family and I see you in harm's way... Uh -huh. then, Law got to get laid. I'm sorry. I'm not about to sit around and watch my family have a have a problem. That means whatever got to go on to get my family out of whatever situation they in. Mm -hmm. You know, whether your tie get on flat or you got three people chasing you through the mall trying to harm you. Mm -hmm. so one of them got to go. Okay. Pain is the greatest motivator. So if you try to hurt my family, me telling you, hey, don't do that to her brother. That's not going to make them stop. But see, when I apply pressure, that's going to make them stop because there's consequences behind your illegitimate actions. Mm -hmm. See, when you apply pressure, that makes people understand. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm a man of understanding, you hear me? I know that if I allow myself to get belligerent with a police officer, that's verbal assault on the officer. They didn't have the right to Rodney King me. But if I conduct myself like a man and, that man, and speak yeah. with respect, you hear me? Then my, con then, my, then my chances of being riding the king 
are lessened because I came at them where I dealt with the situation in a respectful manner. I was peaceful about it. Well, I know that we're talking a lot about, about respect. Um, there's been a lot of controversy surrounding you with the woman who's, you know, allegedly accusing you. I got a song called The Truth. I know. It explains everything. I know you do, but I do want to know. I got a song called The Truth. Do you feel like truth? your career has been tainted a little bit because of what happened? When you're an individual like me and you live in truth, you can really do whatever you want to do because I stand on principle. Uh, and I don't know if y'all going to catch this, but I don't have any picks. Who, whoever play, that's who lay. I don't have no picks. Do you have any regrets about it? No, ma'am. I don't have no regrets. I sleep good under my AC. And Jacksonville, <laughs> and Jacksonville Florida was a sold-out show. And I'm not encouraging mm -hmm. the behavior. The only thing that was negative was... I'm a street cat. The only thing that was negative about it was I put my children in jeopardy of losing their father. Mm -hmm. That's it. When you suffer, your children suffer. But at the same time, if I go in, I'm about to go in Lennox Mall. And like I say, you can say what you want to all day. Mm -hmm. You can talk. You put your hands on me. We going to jail in Lennox. Because mm -hmm. you got to stand on principle when you're a man. Mm -hmm. You got to stand on principle. I tolerate no disrespect from anybody. So do you now agree I can understand. with men hitting I, women or no? No, I don't agree with Like I said, I don't tolerate disrespect from anybody. And then you're a woman. You hear me? Now, if you were to slap me in my face right now, you know, you wouldn't be conducting yourself like a woman. You would be conducting yourself like a whore. It's a difference. You conduct yourself like a woman. You dress conservatively. I'm looking at your nails. Ain't nothing extra about you. You know what I'm saying? You don't have green and pink hair. And I, no disrespect to the people that do that. <laughs> that that um, like no disrespect to people that do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But my mother, whenever she would, whenever she would be dealing with emotional turmoil, she would dye her hair, and you know she would be outwardly expressive emotionally. So mm -hmm. whatever she had going on, she would wear it on her sleeve, so to say. So do you think that's what females are doing when they when they wear different color hair? Psych crazy psychologically, nails? psychologically, yeah, because our women should be loved. Mm -hmm. Women, our women should be loved. Our women should have a man that that's that's passionate about them. Our women should be able to be held, be caressed, be comforted when they have a problem. You got some women that go home and don't have nobody to turn to. They lay in the bed by themselves at nighttime. You know what I'm saying? And I know from this bitch being in prison, because I'm not about to let no motherfucking man hold me ever in life. Don't never, never in your life. You know, I greet you with a hug and that's it. We gonna keep it there. But they got some women, you gotta think about it. They have no one to vent to and things of that nature. So they have to be outwardly expressive and that's their way of letting the world know that I'm going through something. Mm -hmm. Signs are for the conscious mind. A lot of people walk around, you know, they live on Instagram, so they numb to what's going on. They not mm -hmm. conscious. I'm conscious. I pay attention to my surroundings. You know what I'm saying? I like to kind of feel the energy of the individuals that I'm around. We all go through things. Mm -hmm. But to answer your question, I don't agree with any women. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm an individual that will not allow myself to be assaulted by anyone. Now, I do have a question based on that inc incident. I know you can't say too much I on can, it. I can, but I've already spoke about it. Mm -hmm. And I have an amazing, incredible show tonight in mm -hmm. Atlanta. So, why well, live in the past? I that mean, is true. No, I why, must. I mean, why well, live in I the must. past? Because I feel like I'm way more interested than some shit that happened two, three months ago. Mm -hmm. I just had an incredible wedding. And I got like 150,000 views or something on mm -hmm. likes on Instagram, but one picture. Mm -hmm. And my caption was, this was the best thing I ever did, and it was. I married the woman I'm in love with. Okay, how, many, how many bad guys get the, get the girl at the end of the movie? And th that is true, which I must agree. But the question I was going, I wasn't going to go deep onto that. Man, you can ask any question. But listen, you okay, to. listen, steady, because you know what I was going to say, say was. You pass me that energy drink right there. I'm thirsty. What I was going to say was no, with that to, incident. Let her pass it Grab it for me, baby. It ain't too much trouble. With the incident that did happen, uh, what went down? Would you say that? Um, 
that happen because on how women might look at you because they might look at you like you know oh because I've act, yeah as, as you know because I've actually been to one of your shows and must I say you do your thing and it was entertaining from the start to finish and you do say a lot of so do you think sexual, she might have I, I have a lot of you know, yeah. I have a lot of sexually explicit content right. You know. So do you think she might have, you know, felt it in her in her spirit to be like, you know what? I think I'm gonna just go for it because, you know, he's he talking to me. You know what I mean? Do you think maybe you was she felt like, you know, you was reaching her. You know, you was hitting her spirit a little bit. Um, let's say this. If you were Nicki Minaj or Beyonce and you're very sexually explicit, you talk about you like big dicks and I'm working with and I'm really I'm talking about I'm talking about God really bless me. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Having a big dick is not a good thing. When you get to pushing all up against your woman's cervix and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't want to hurt the woman that I love. Mm -hmm. So having a big dick ain't really a good thing. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest. If you were Nicki Minaj or Beyonce, I'm only speaking hypothetically. I'm hypothetically, only, I'm okay. Only, I'm only giving okay. an illustration because okay. I said this before. Mm -hmm. and, and I just felt compelled because you was touching my spirit to come stick my dirty ass fingernails in your pussy and give you a yeast infection. You know, because most men, I'm going to keep real, most street catch, you hear me? Mm -hmm. We be so after the money that we don't have time to clean, clean our hands. Uh -huh. yeah. Clean hands. But when you wash your hair, it cleans under your nails. That's the beautiful thing about the body. Mm -hmm. You know, one hand washes the other. Okay, so you teaching me something here. All right. right, but if I was to stick my dirty ass fingernails in your pussy mm -hmm. and give you a yeast infection because I felt sexually compelled to do so. Not to right. touch one's <laughs> genitals without permission or consent mm -hmm. is a sexual battery. Mm-hmm. Would I be right? Would I be right? I need a verbal response, please. The, the man has spoken. Would, no, I, mean, I need a know, verbal response. No, you you would not be right. Thank so you. you. You would not. <laughs> look. So you feel like you just want to look. Oh, Lord. You got no. his little cup. All right, y'all. Let's, that. let's push coffee. forward a uh, little bit. <laughs> so so if I was to stick my dirty ass mm -hmm. fingernails in your pussy, you probably got a pretty pussy, too. You probably get a Brazilian <laughs> waxed. Little tight little lips and everything, and I Hypothetic. with two fingers uh -huh. in your uh, shit. Yeah. I'd be wrong. Wrong, you would. You'd be wrong as hell. I'd be wrong to put my soft ass lips up against your click. I'd be wrong to do that. I'd be wrong. <laughs> Why you laughing? I, I might. Oh, I have to attack you too. That's what right. I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I would be wrong. No I would be, but I would be wrong to do that. You would. I you would, would be wrong. And when you in the moment. Of being disrespected to the tenth power, to the utmost, you know, you know, because you you got to put yourself in a hypothetical situation. Mm -hmm. You got a husband that loves you, and you got small children in attendance. Mm -hmm. You're I mean, you trying to raise a young child with the way you conduct yourself is how, how your child see you conduct. You know, that's how your child's gonna conduct themselves in the world. So it ain't that you. You just couldn't. It's just the disrespect. Ain't no telling what you might do me in the moment of being disrespected. <laughs> <laughs> Am I correct? You. <laughs> you are correct. Can we go on? To the, can <laughs> we, we going on? Can we go on to the next we, subject? We yes. are going on. The next you topic. Okay. Talk about it because the music is what's most important. But see, and I <laughs> want to say this: all my young artists that may be paying attention, there are psychological traps. You have to, you know, be able to <laughs> see the trap and be able to <laughs> maneuver, <laughs> vacate the premises. You know? oh, Lord. But it's beautiful music. though because at the same time, this is how we get great stories and things of that nature, then you got to be careful about, you know, how you conduct yourself. I feel like the best thing to do in any situation is tell the truth. <laughs> Don't drink on that. Ain't no need to hide from you <laughs> tell the truth. With the pinky up, sip on that. Hit well, it. Um, tell me about um, your newest album. Cafe you know con leche. Yeah. This is some good coffee. That just means coffee and milk in Spanish. And I speak like seven different languages. But Do you? we're not gonna get into all that. Well tell me about your um, newest album and you know some of the artists that you're currently working with. I'm I don't have any features on the album and I named the album after my first daughter. Her name is Isla. Mm -hmm. It's Arabic or Hebrew, whatever you wanna say. Mm -hmm. But it's it means to it means a spiritual awakening. It means to reform, to make better, to critique, whatever mm -hmm. you want to say. Mm -hmm. And that's what my daughter did. She critiqued me. She made me better. And it was a spiritual awakening when I had that job. My greatest fear turned out to 
turned out to be my greatest blessing. Excuse me, I had a little cough in my, you know, you bombarded me with the question so quick, you know, I, I didn't get a chance to just really swallow. Don't, like don't make us feel bad. Don't. Uh -uh. Never, make, never make you feel bad, love, because I'm happy. I'm married to a beautiful woman. I'm happy. I have two beautiful children. You ain't see Kyle's? He got gold skin just like his daddy, pretty pink lips. He gonna get a lot of these little black marks on him from getting beat up and stuff when he in school, but he gonna have to go through that. Mm -hmm. You know, the children with the gold skin out, you know what it is like. You, you, we yeah, always we have all it. all golden up here. Golden Look. and bronzed. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna say all of them. But, bright, bright up but here. you know, we get, you know, we get, we get, we have it harder than other people in life. And people don't understand that. Like, it's hard yeah. to have gold skin in America. Oh, and they don't, Lord. people don't understand. I, I must, know you I done had it. She think she they all like shit. And you be down, and then I done met you. You so down to earth. But I know. Mm -hmm. It's a girl that work in a drive through at some fast <laughs> food restaurant right. that was mean to you for no reason. Yeah. And they'll, they'll meet you, they're like, I thought you was stuck And then you with right. the thick mm -hmm. eyebrows and the pretty eyes and pretty teeth, I already know you done had it hard, so I ain't even gonna get into it. I can imagine <laughs> your struggle in America. <laughs> And then y'all women. Finally, somebody feel like pain. Hey, no, no disrespect. Shout out to Kevin Gates. No, I got a sister. Hold on. Shout out much. to my sister. My sister in the halfway house right now. Mm -hmm. And she worked for this man. Excuse me. He a little boy. She worked for this little boy. You hear me? Because psychologically, he's a child. Mm -hmm. But if a woman not feeling you uh don't she not don't have no type of sexual attraction to you you can't be unprofessional at the job site like what sister what my what i got to come up there i'll come up there while i'm in atlanta what's happening with you i'll come up there no brother it ain't like that but you know i put him in this place but at the same time because ain't nobody want to flirt with him you know so and she beautiful mm -hmm. she look like me so she got, excuse me, you can look at us and tell that we're related. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to say she look like me, but mm -hmm. we, we're very beautiful people, oh. if I do say so myself. <laughs> well, I want to ask you. So, um, you know, I just, that's unprofessional. If we work together for me to start treating you different at the workplace because you don't want to have dinner with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't about nothing, you heard? You know, we get at that like nothing. Counsel my show for you, I love you. Well, in this place that you're at in your career, like, what's the most valuable lesson you think you've learned so, this far? I never regret my silence. I'll never regret my silence. Some people you can't talk to once I feel the energy. One, I give everyone a chance. Mm -hmm. But once you come at me left, then my perception of you has changed for life. Because you didn't have to do what you did me. And you know I'm 100. But you did that mm -hmm. for whatever reasons that you did that for. That's on you and your karma and their whatever. But once you show me that you're not 100, you know, after that, man, it ain't nothing. I'll speak. Mm -hmm. If you speak first, yeah, how you doing, you know, after that, it's nothing. Because you showed me who you was. I gave it. Like when I came here, I gave both of you individuals a, a, a chance. Mm -hmm. Now, with that chance now we like. now we now hold up we in the media <laughs> we in the media realm you hear me i mean i feel like you uh, you an intelligent individual you know what's appropriate and what's inappropriate you know what's platinum and what's not i ain't got to tell you but that's you know i make my own assumption about what it is and you know we're gonna keep it moving peace and love and tranquility peace and blessings be upon everyone but once you show me it could be something simple, but mm -hmm. you're going to reveal yourself. You're going to reveal always, your character. Always, always, always. So, you know, so if you? I look at something and I see that you got some type of maliciousness in you yeah. or something like mm -hmm. that, or you being facetious. <laughs> always, you know, always. That's a bit. But I don't never judge because <laughs> in psychology, it teaches us to have mm -hmm. the indiv individualistic approach. Mm -hmm. Every new individual is different. Yeah. So, like I said, I just form my assessment. That's all. I'm just doing an assessment of both of you individuals right now. Oh, Lord. So what's it's next dangerous for you? talking to me. What you mean, what's next? Yeah, I'm going to walk next? out the door when we finish. 
what do you have going for you in your career? What What do you hope I'm going to walk out the door won't be finished because life is a journey. I yeah. don't know what's going to happen. I might see DJ drum. He man, I got a $10 million deal for you. What's up? But what's your or I hope? might walk out there and nothing may happen. Who knows? What is your hope? Everybody has dreams. What do you hope will happen for you in your career? I really, no disrespect, but I really don't feel comfortable sharing my hopes and dreams with you after you just asking me that other question. And I feel like that wasn't fair to me as an individual. I can respect that. That wasn't fair. And that was wrong. You wronged me. Not trying to make you feel bad, mm -hmm. but I feel like you wronged me. I guess it would be cool for the interview for views, but mm -hmm. that wasn't 100. And mm -hmm. you know that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, may peace and blessings be upon you. <laughs> All some other things okay. <laughs> right. All right, well, is there anything that you would like I, to say I love to the my, room? Um... I appreciate you all for having me. I mean, and I would love to hear these you. evaluations that you have yeah. as well. Cause see, I wronged him, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> hey, all right, you know, say no, but you say know, no more. But you know what you did. Like, let's be honest. You know what you did <laughs> me. And you can say, oh, come on, Kevin. No, you know what you did me. Because oh, you just man. said, I just saw your sway in a what, what, Even if you've seen it, I feel like when I say things. I don't speak in subliminals. I speak in layman's term. I'm not a lawyer. I don't speak legalese. That's the language that they use in the courtroom. Oh, man, I'm I speak in layman's terms. So when you talk to me, you get what you get. I am that. Yeah. You know, I am that. And like I say, when you say you want to share, man, I have a beautiful mind. But at the I'm same time. I'm talking about I have a beautiful mind. I'm talking about a beautiful, I'm a beautiful creature, magnificent mind. And the things mm -hmm. that I could, the things that I could share would be considered jewels. Mm -hmm. Of course. But once you show course. me that you don't really care for the wisdom, I'm going to keep it to myself. Of I'm course. good. Of course. But I love you. You got to do that. I love you. you got, that's what the words say. And you got to do your, that. And I love your braces. You got to do that. <laughs> With all, you that, all that platinum in your mouth. Come on, now, look. I'm trying to get like you. I mean yeah, that, I'm trying to smile like you. To be honest, it's a lot of maintenance. Mm -hmm. Like no disrespect. Oh, this ain't no different. It, I know. It's, no I know different. you gotta. What? You know, because when well, I don't eat any meat, but like, like okay. veg, vegetation, it breaks down faster than what meat would. Mm -hmm. So when things right in between your teeth, you gotta think I got metal. You ever notice how people with gold teeth they breath stink? Breath smell like whoop. You know, smell but like who did it they, you sitting over there, but you can't smell my breath. Mm -hmm. And I haven't brushed my teeth before I came in here. It's because I floss. Okay. You have to floss. Uh, of course. <laughs> then they got the new floss, so they got the water kind. Thank you for coming. Uh, <laughs> look. Nah, oh, look, that. look, hold on. I'm holding. I, huh? I'm no, holding. no, no, we, we get that. Yeah, we get I'm that. Holding. Look, it wasn't purposely. It was just, you know what I mean? You okay, we, you know what I mean? Hold on. Look, look, there it go. Okay, there it go. Look, yeah, we're going to have to wrap <laughs> this touching, one up. Look. Touching one, look. With, <laughs> touching one with all consent is a simple Here we battle. go. Here we go. <laughs> look, you, you. You prepared on yeah. all time, all you, time. I'm saying you felt compelled. Yeah, okay. You know, well, you just... You, you, well, you verbally assaulted me earlier then. <laughs> I, well, you did. Never mind. You said hypothetically. And you agreed. If I, and, now, and then not only that, you, you verbally stop. assaulted me because you said, because it looked like you got old pretty pussy. So right. how am I supposed to take that? That was a compliment. You don't know. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. That's a sexual... So, uh, you, so you saying you... Yeah, you assaulted me. So uh -uh. you saying you don't... Have, you, you know what I mean? You, you say, assaulted me. So you got bumps everywhere? Well, you assaulted Assaulting me. Speed bumps. You, hells and we shit. gonna have to continue this yeah. conversation so, later. Thank you. you. Thank you for coming, Kevin. Because I'm saying if, if a woman you. was to tell me, Kevin, <laughs> Thank you. Kevin, I bet you got a big, pretty dick. I'd be like, well. But then you. she would come off as a whore, right? That, <laughs> she, that's that's no. So that's come on, you come have on double now. Standard. Man, Thanks got, for coming, Kevin. <laughs> no. So I'm saying they got prostitutes you would meet and you wouldn't know that that's what feel that they But as a lady, you should know what to say. Themselves. You know what I mean? As a lady, you have to con at the as, as conducting yourself as a lady, all of those things fall up under it. So the things you say, the way you carry yourself, all of that falls up under that. Bit. Be okay, easy. Leave it on that note. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Yes, yes, yes. Me. We enjoyed you. 